everyone, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be all about reading slumps and how I get over them and just tips and tricks, basically chit-chatting about it because I know a lot of you have been telling me that currently you're not feeling it and that was me last year during the beginning of the pandemic. I was in the worst slump I've ever been on booktube and I'm over it. I'm doing really well reading wise right now so I wanted to share with you things that work with me and please let me in the comment section your tips and tricks because the more the better. My first tip is try a chapter, which used to be a book tag on booktube, everyone was doing it, and I'm still doing it because it helps me a lot whenever I don't know what to read. Even last month, I was doing a one week, one shelf challenge. Basically what I do is that I pick up a shelf number in a jar, and that's the shelf I have to read books from that week. And I picked number 22, which is a really random, like a bunch of books shoved in <laughs> shelf, and it's mostly mystery thrillers. and. A lot of them I didn't really remember much about them or just was kind of uninterested at first sight and these are the two books that I ended up reading the first chapter from and as soon as I read that one I, I was sold I wanted to read this and I ended up reading it in like six days it's like 800 pages because the writing just really works for me and it just goes to show that starting the book will make you see if the writing works for you especially at the moment you want something that flows nicely and that you can binge read if possible so Try a chapter. My second tip is to try a different genre. There are two possibilities. Either you read mystery thrillers if you don't tend to read them because I feel like they're so bingeable, which a uh, little plug, I will be listing down below videos that are relevant. So for right now, I'll put, uh, I have a couple like fall readings, which is basically whenever I read mystery thrillers the most. So if you are interested, I feel like I just tend to not be able to put them down because often there's like a what happened or who did it towards the end. So you just want to know. So you end up binge reading the whole thing very fast. So yes, either pick up a mystery thriller or just pick up something that is not your usual genre. For example, me, it would be something like this. This is The Winner's Curse, which is the first book in a YA fantasy romance series, which, what, Emily, romance? I know, I don't tend to read romance a lot, although I did do favorites. <laughs> and since it's YA, it's really such a fast read, like, it's written pretty big, it's 350 pages, and the romance just kind of worked for me in that case. It made me want to binge read the whole trilogy. Like, you can totally binge read the trilogy very, very fast, like, in a week. Because, you know, the struggle, you want to know, are they going to end up together or not? And if you are someone that enjoys the trope of uh, enemies to lovers, this is it. But it's not, like, fully romance. There's enough, like, political intrigue that it kept it interesting, even for someone that isn't big on romance. And... For some reason, totally worked for me, and I know that if I hadn't read it and right now I was in a slump, this would totally, totally save me from the slump. Next tip is to go for short books. I actually did two different videos on the topic, so I will link that down below, but one that isn't part of these videos that I read recently is Emergency Skin by N.K. Jemisin, which my first five star of the year, actually, I'm pretty sure. I loved it. It's about 32 pages. So it is short. And I don't know about you, but I definitely feel the satisfaction when I'm like, oh, I have read a whole book. Even if it's a short story, it's like I get that feeling. So it's motivating and I want to pick up the next one. So if you are in a slum, definitely try and read something that is shorter or just reads fast like YA books, for example. So this one is an adult uh, sci-fi short story. It is part of the... Um, forward collection on Kindle and I loved it. So definitely do recommend that one specifically, but any other short books should work. The next tip is to reread favorites. I feel like that's the most well-known advice probably in this list, but it just works. I mean, there's a reason it's popular. I tend to become slumpy-ish whenever I am stressed, which last year has been definitely prone for that. But often during the holidays, because there's a lot of like seeing family, friends, and I tend to post an excessive amount of videos. Last year I was posting every two days. So I tend to just be too stressed to read. So I tend to just focus on books that I have enjoyed in the past. I don't tend to reread otherwise. So I feel like it gives me the opportunity to do that. And often they're like classic favorites that you've read a ton. So I feel like it just gives you that nostalgia feeling. So definitely try to pick up a book that you have enjoyed in the past and just reread it. Next tip is audiobooks. I know they don't work for everyone, but I love them. And especially when I'm in a slump, I feel like they just keep me going. Last year, that's totally what saved me because otherwise I probably would have read like no books for like three months. Plus you get to do more than one thing at a time. So I don't know about you, but when I'm stressed, sitting down, reading a book, I, my eyes move. 
nothing, no thoughts, none. <laughs> so being able to just listen to a book while I do something else, usually some cleaning, because again, when I'm stressed, I don't do some cleaning. So it helps me do both at the same time where I can go on a walk or even when I'm just getting ready in the morning, showering or something, I feel like I get to experience a book without having to sit down and force myself to read. I've also done actually a video on the topic, so I will link that down below, but definitely check out your library. You will get access to a bunch of audiobooks for free. My next tip is to watch some booktube videos. <laughs> uh, they just work. I mean, I don't know about you, but seeing other people be excited about books just makes me excited about books. It makes me want to read them. So I definitely recommend checking out either like recommendation videos or their best and worst of the year, because even seeing someone bash books makes me want to read books. I don't know about you, but definitely something that works for me. So yes, booktube videos, definitely uh, check out your favorite uh, booktubers or look up more recommendation videos. Last but not least, do something else. Don't worry about it. Just do something else. If you are not in the mood to read, don't read. Binge watch that Netflix show. Go on a walk, exercise, do something else, which I feel like sometimes you just focus too much on, oh, you're not reading, you should be reading. And you're making it worse. Just do something else, relax. Sometimes you're just not in the mood and that's okay. Often, like I said, for me, it's when I'm stressed. So whenever things calm down, I will want to start reading again. So there's no reason to overly think about it. So once in a while, I give myself permission to be on pause, you know, on a break, no more reading. And I always come back to reading. So it's okay. So these are my personal favorite tips and tricks to get over reading slums. Let me know in the comment section yours because I want to know. Thumbs up, subscribe. I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out and I shall see you in my next video very soon. Bye.